from the northern cape of South Africa, in this case not from the Kalahari manganese fields, but from the Posmasberg uh, manganese fields, which are uh, down south of the Kalahari manganese fields. Actually, uh, if you go in Kalahari manganese fields, you'll, you'll take a north at uh, Kuruman, go about a hundred kilos and then you'll see the headgear of the Channing Mines, whereas in this case you drive past uh, 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 Kuruman going uh, uh, west and uh, you'd, you'd reach the little town of Posmasberg and this is, uh, this would be from the Glossom Mine in the uh, 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 Posmasberg manganese mines. Of course the guys were also mining for manganese and iron and related at these deposits. Maybe not as large scale as the, the Kalahari manganese fields. Technically speaking also in the Kalahari, uh, Kalahari being semi-arid desert region and then uh, from mineralogical terms even uh, technically maybe even Orange River region. All the way from South Africa, now Mangan diaspore is diaspore which has been colored red by inclusion of manganese. And as I understand it, it's either a type locality, in other words, it only occurs at this deposit in the whole world, or, um, yeah, quite, quite lovely. Tiny piece, this is a double thumbnail, yet what I quite enjoy is this particular section where you can see this largest crystal and with strong light shining onto it, it's almost this rhodochrosite red you'd have.